Hallelujah. I speak to your life prophetically. You shall be celebrated. Amen. I say your family shall be celebrated. Amen. The world will share your testimony. Amen. They will share the testimony of your family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whenever you are, just have your seat. And open your Bible with me to Genesis chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. Genesis chapter 8, verse 1 to 4. And God remember Noah. I pray for you this morning, the Lord will remember you. Amen. He will remember you today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God will sing you out for miracle. Amen. He will remember you also. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, And every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the heart. I pray prophetically to your life. That everyone around you will be preserved. Amen. In this season of, of pandemic, it will preserve you, Amen. preserve your soul, Amen. and preserve your love. Amen. You will not hear bad news Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The good news from here, good news from far. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the water as switch. The fountain also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped. And the rain from heaven was so restrained. Whatever be troubling you shall be restrained. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the water returned from all the earth continually. Every stranger in your family, they will go back to where they belong. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sickness is not part of your household. So they must leave your household and go back to where they came from. Amen. And after the end of the hundred and fifty days, the water were abated. God said, the water were abated. To abate means to subside, to be less intense. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray prophetically to the world. That the power of coronavirus is destroyed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We destroy the intensity of coronavirus. Amen. We destroy the spread of coronavirus. Amen. We destroy the power of coronavirus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone for a time will declare healing. Amen. Everyone in isolation will declare healing. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We destroy the contagious nature of coronavirus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the Bible says. Said in verse 4, Bible say, and the ark rested in the seventh month. Hallelujah. Amen. The ark rested in the seventh month. And I told us on Thursday that prophetically, this is the seventh month of the pandemic. This pandemic started in December, but I can tell you we are already in June, and that is the seventh month. And God is declaring rest to the whole world. Is declaring rest for your family. Amen. And I pray for you. The world has seen all manners of trouble. The trouble they never prepared for. The trouble they never expected. The trouble they never believed they would ever see in their life. No one has ever seen this kind of trouble. But God is saying, rest to the whole world. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We declare nations open. Amen. We declare churches open. Amen. We declare school open. Amen. We declare businesses open. Amen. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Let our streets be open. Amen. Let there be open of interstate. Amen. Let our hair be open. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let our social love return. Amen. Let our, our gathering, let it be return. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to know God is in control of every affair yes, of men. Hallelujah. God is in control of the affair of the whole world. So God is not in, is, is not in trouble. God is in charge of this pandemic. And God is saying, rest for my people. Amen. And that's why I'm so excited that I'm a Christian in a time like this. Because the Bible says the only thing that survived the, uh, that survived the trouble in the time of Nehemiah uh, and Noah was were only people that were inside the ark. Hallelujah! Amen. So I congratulate you because you are a Christian. Because you will survive it. Amen. Amen. You will survive it. Amen. All you have experienced is your act upon the water. Yes, Being tossed here and there. Tossed here and there. Tossed tuss here tuss and there. Tuss tuss they said everyone should be a to, 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 to go on lockdown. You two are locked down. 
You wouldn't go home. That is only you can suffer. Mm -hmm. But God said, no more than that. That was all. That was all. But the Bible said the seventh month yes, of the trouble, the Bible said they had rested. I pray for you prophetically. This month you will rest. Amen. I said this month you will experience rest. Amen. Every trouble in your life for money to cease. In the mighty name of Jesus. When we talk about thoughts, rest, we talk about recovery. When we talk about rest, we talk about to refresh. Mm. So when people sleep, they sleep to recover. Yes, sir. They sleep to refresh. Mm. They sleep to gain back their energy. So they can experience peace. Hallelujah. Mm. I pray for you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you are locked to this season of pandemic, you will recover. Amen. I said you will recover. Amen. You will recover back your energy. Amen. You will recover your vitality. Amen. You will recover your strength. Amen. You will recover your health. Amen. You will recover your sanity. Amen. Your confidence in God will be recovered. In the mighty name of you. Amen. You will experience peace on every side. In the mighty name of you. God will restore back to you. All that you have lost. Amen. Your time will be restored. Amen. Your money will be restored. Amen. Your job will be restored. Amen. The contract that you miss, Amen. it will be restored. Amen. Your wedding you could not do will be restored. Amen. You will get married. Amen. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Your stability will be restored. Amen. Your joy shall be restored. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So God has declared. That this is our month of total recovery. Amen. And I declare over you and your family, total recovery. Amen. I say total recovery. Amen. Somebody say total recovery. Total total recovery. recovery. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is our month. This month is our month of rest. It's our month of peace on every side. It's our month of restoration. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The world has experienced trouble in the last seven months. But God is committed to your recovery. Amen. God is committed to your recovery. So today I will begin a series of one of the instruments of recovery in the hand of God. Hmm. The instrument of recovery in the hand of God. Because there is a need for you to understand. So when God says, I will bring recovery. You see, he has asinus. He has instrument. He has tool to bring the cup. And that instrument today is the instrument of divine intervention. The instrument of divine intervention. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 8, verse 1, the Bible says, And God remember Noah. And every living thing and all the cattle that was within in the heart. And listen, Bible says, and God, somebody say God. God. God, God made a wind to pass over the earth and the water. And so it was God that caused the wind to blow, and the water went back. <laughs> it was God that caused the wind to blow. I pray to God this morning. God will cause something to happen. Amen. That will cause a divine restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Something will happen. Amen. It will happen to you. It will happen to the world. Just to bring about your recovery. Even today, something will happen. Amen. That will bring you restoration. Amen. That will bring you recovery. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the instrument in the hand of God, one of the instruments in the hand of God is the instrument of divine intervention. Amen. And what do we mean by the word divine? When you talk about something divine, you are talking about something originated from God. Something out of natural. So that wind was not a natural wind. It was God that caused the wind to blow. To blow. Hallelujah. It means it proceeds from God. The God means supernatural. It means something celestial. It means something that is from above. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says promotion does not come from the east or from west. It comes from God. It comes from above. Hallelujah. Amen. What do we mean by the word 
intervention. Intervention means involvement. Mm. It means interposition. It means intrusion. It means meddling. It means to come in between. It means involvement, interposition, intrusion. So I call God is intruding to your situation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, you have been free there. You have been happy. God. You have been celebrating, but God just come to intrude to the situation. God is coming to get involved. He said, the reason why the devil seems that he's in control is because God is not yet involved. The moment God is involved, the devil is in trouble. Because the Bible says, light shineth in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. Amen. Light does not lock the door for darkness to disappear. It does come, and the moment it comes, on a nurse, darkness leaves immediately. That particular second, today, God will be involved in your fear. Amen. I said God will be involved in your fear. Amen. It will intrude to your situation. It will, make, it, will, it will make do in what you are going through. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. He will put himself in the position of your battle. Amen. That is to intervene me to interposition. For God to say, get out of the, of the something. We oh, are now still fighting me. <laughs> And you can imagine when God said, let me take your position. Let me fight your battle. You can be sure that your enemy is already damaged. Yes, I declare your enemy damaged. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you talk about divine intervention, you are talking about God involvement. It means call me God. Come is to meddle in your affair. It means that God has come to mediate. It means that God has come in between. Praise God. Amen. You have been receiving the arrow. But God is saying now, tell him that we have begin to shoot the arrow now. Oh yeah, get out my son. Get out my son. Get out my daughter. Let me receive the arrow for you. And you can imagine, whatever arrow the devil throws, before he get to God, it's already nothing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us open our Bible to John chapter 1 to 9. So we can begin to look at some secret. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I want to encourage you this morning, ready to pray. Though the time is very short, but the little time we have, please pray. Please pray. When you use the instrument of divine intervention, it's an instrument that devil cannot withstand. Mm. Devil can't withstand it. Praise God. John chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in Hebrew term Bethsaida, having a five porches. And in this lay a great multitude of important folk, a blind or blind, ought without waiting for the moving of the water. The Bible is telling us, it said, by this, by this push. By this, by, 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 the, by, by, by this pool, I will say there are great multitude of sick people, mm -hmm. important for a blind heart, without waiting for the moving of the water. Bible said, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever there first, first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. How you heard what I just said? Yes, there was a man by that pool that had infirmity 30 and 8 years. Bible said when Jesus saw him lie, he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He said unto him, we now be made whole the important man answered him, he says, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me to the pool. But while I am coming, trying to struggle, to step down, the someone step down before me. Jesus said unto me, Rise, take all thy bed and walk. And the Bible said, Immediately 
the man was made old. He was made what? Old. old. And took up his bed and war. And that same day was Sabbath. <laughs> Who saw Katanaba? That same day was a Sabbath day. Ha! God is tapping to people's situation today. Amen. God is making people whole today. Amen. God is delivering people today. Amen. I want for you today, today Sabbath day, the Lord will make you whole. Amen. He will heal your marriage. Amen. He will heal your body. Amen. He will heal your finances. Amen. He will heal your ministry. Amen. He will heal your business. Amen. He will heal your spiritual life. Every area that of sin Sickness in your body, God will bring you to holy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When do we need divine intervention? Or when do we need divine involvement? When do you need divine intervention or divine involvement? Number one. When everyone around you is facing the same problem, mm. when everyone around you is facing the same problem, the Bible says, We are this man alive by the poor. The Bible says, There are great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, art, without waiting for the moving of the water. Praise God. Everyone that was by the pool, they were sick people. Praise God. So when everyone that is around you is sick, you need divine intervention. That man told Jesus, he said, ah, Jesus, this angel come to this place once in a while, once in six months, and when they come in trouble, the water, only one person get it. Mm. And that person is the one that is able to end down first. In the survival of the fittest, praise God. And in that situation, it is difficult. Why? Because this man be lined up for 38 years. Praise God, surrounded by sick people. Everyone is crying, Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. So no one is helping him. Because even everyone around him, they need help. So when your friends that you are talking to to help you, he to have lost his job. How can you get a help from such a person? Praise God. The people around you are poor. How can they help you? The people around you are sick. How can they attend to you? Say, somebody carry me. Ah, since it's me too, I need somebody to carry me. In that situation, you need the bad intervention. Because sometimes you discover that you are better than even people around you. Do you know that? And yet, yet, your situation is only for attention. Praise God. No one around her. You can you see that you can say, oh, this one is better. In that case, it means you need the bar intervention. Praise God. When you are facing this situation, when you are facing this kind of situation, you need the bar intervention. Amen. Because what to lack is not available around you. This morning I pray for you. God will sing you out for miracle. Amen. I said God will sing you out for miracle. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So when you are facing a situation that everyone around you is facing, the problem you have is a common problem. That thought at that time, in that situation, you need the bar intervention. I want you to close your heart this morning. I say, Lord, single me out for miracles. Single me out for miracles. The Bible says, in that place, there were many multi, there were, there were multitude of sick people. Only this man, Jesus went to, he did not make a public announcement with them. But there were many. It was not only this man. God single me out for miracles. I pray this morning. God will sing you up for miracle Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, when do you need divine intervention? When the problem you are going through is longer than necessary. Mm. The problem is longer than necessary. The Bible says, and this man had a family 
for 30 years. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ah, well, that is what's not normal. 38 years, sick for 30 years, lying down of infirmity for 30 years. When the sickness started, it was like a joke. It was like a, like, it was like a play. One week, one month, six months, one year, two years, five years, ten years, twenty years, thirty years, mm. ha, thirty-five years. One day somebody called me and said, where are you? He said, I'm still by the bar. You are being gay. But I came around. Ten years ago, I said, I'm still there. What can sickness is that? When your problem is longer than necessary, you need divine intervention. When the problem has become like a mountain and it's not ready to move, and they say, Here I come to stay. Ha! Every stranger in your house. I command them, let them pack out. Amen. Let them pack out Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every stubborn situation in your life, I will test them. I command them to die. Amen. I command them to die. Amen. Every problem in your life that I become stubborn that I refuse to go. Let them die. Amen. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three. When there is no one to help, there is nothing as painful as being alone in an unpalatable situation. Some people revive, they, they survive because of people around them, because of the help they get. Some people survive situation because somebody is greeting them, somebody is calling them. But this man told Jesus, he said, there is no one to help me. Everyone has forsaken me. There's any of you listening to me this morning, everyone has forsaken you. No one is there to help you. I pray for to God this morning that we step into your situation. Amen. I say we step into your situation. Amen. So when you don't have anyone to help you, you need divine intervention. Your government cannot help you. Federal cannot help you. State cannot help you. Local government cannot help you. Your parents cannot help you. Your brother cannot help you. When you call them, they give excuses. And sometimes they just ignore your call. Mm. Not that it's not ringing. You call and call and call. Nobody is picking your call. No one is checking on you. No one cares. Nobody is feeling what you are feeling. At this time, you need the intervention. The house that was once full of activity is now desolate. At that time, you need the intervention. I pray to you this morning. I pray for you this morning. I pray for your soul. God will send you destiny help. Amen. I said God will send you destiny help. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus said, do you want to be made He said, yes, I want to be made He said, but no one to help you. Jesus said, I am here to help you. I am sent from my God to help you. Hey, I pray for you this man. Man, woman that is sent from my God to help you. They will locate you. Amen. This money they will locate you. Why? Because when somebody is sent from heaven, he does not give any excuse. Mm. Doesn't take advantage of you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray for you this morning. Just close your heart this morning. Land of Hussein the rule. My hand the rule. My lapusi the lava. The man and the woman from heaven that will help you. Let them locate you. Amen. Let them locate you. Amen. From today, you will not be helpless. Amen. Everyone will help you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every wind of the devil, God will cause it to cease. Amen. Whatever is troubling you will disappear. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number four, when do you need divine intervention? When do you need God to be involved in your situation? When you are facing an embarrassing situation. <laughs> Embarrassing situation. When you look at the back, Mark, Mark chapter 5, 
verse 25 to 30, told us about the woman with the issue of blood. Women understood. Hallelujah. Bible says, a certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years. That is an embarrassing situation. 12 years. 12 years is not 12 days. It's not 12 months. Talking about 12 years continuous flow of blood. It was an embarrassing situation. This man was thinking, was smelling. Everybody's on the way. Run the way. She's smelling. Even when she has not reached there. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, and this woman has suffered many things from many precision and has spent all that she had. Wow. When this problem started, the woman said, no problem. Bring money, bring money. He had money. But at this situation, there was no money. When she go for consultation, say, go and buy this drug, there was no money again to buy this drug. At that time, she knew that she needed divine intervention. And that was why he went to Jesus, not just with offering, he went with his faith. And Jesus said, Happy, I pray for you this morning. Whatever embarrassing situation in your life today, that situation will run away. Amen. That sickness will run away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything embarrassing you are commanded to die. Amen. Whatever you bring you embarrassment to your family, to your mind, let it run away. Amen. Let it run away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bible told us about the blind. Bartimaeus in Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52. Now listen to this man in the mm. this place. Bible says, and they came, Mark 10, 46. Bible says, and they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciple, a great multitude of people, with his disciple and a great multitude of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timio, sat by the highway side begging. Now I think you will see this one. Number one, is that the one they call this man is blind Bartimaeus. Mm. They are called blind. His first name is now blind. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. His first name is now blind. blind. When people don't want to describe if they don't put blind in it, <laughs> nobody will understand. Because there are so many Bartimaeus. So to describe him, Whatever thing around you that is not palatable that people have been using to describe you today, you are delivered. Amen. I say you are delivered Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So when you are facing an embarrassing situation that people call you by the name of your problem, you need divine intervention. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says this man sat by the highway, baby. Highway to be in the highway is a terrible place. So, was not even afraid of of vehicles, accident. He was there, not selling. He was sitting down there, begging. Ah, I come out begging to see your life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. People has messed some people up even before they talk. They are asking, ah, okay, I'm not the money. Mm. Ah, you are not asking for money. But it seems that you are already because it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Ha! I pray for you this morning in the name of Jesus. Let the embarrassment cease in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And there are not embarrassing situation that the Bible told us is in Mark chapter 2. It told us about Mark, Mark chapter 2, verse 3. The Bible said, And they came unto me, bringing one sick or palsy, which were born of four. This man was sick. And he was being carried by four people. That mm. is an embarrassing situation. Oh, you can't walk to where you want to walk to. You can't do what you want to do. It takes four people. When those four people are not around, the man cannot move. Mm. It was such an embarrassing situation. Stand on your feet today. I said, Lord, every embarrassing situation in my life, Lord, take it away. Take it away. Open your mouth and pray. Everything bring you embarrassment to my life. My God, <laughs> then keep the way. I pray to you, Lord, today for divine intervention. I pray to you, Lord, today for divine intervention. Everything bringing shame to my life. Lord, take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' name, we pray. I
congratulate everyone that you listen to me this morning. Yes, Lord. You are not born again. I congratulate you. Why? Because you need Jesus this morning to take away every embarrassing situation. You need Jesus this morning to send you destiny ever. You need Jesus this morning to make you whole. You need Jesus this morning to put a hand to that long time problem. If you want to receive Jesus to your life this morning, I want you to see up and everywhere you are. I want you to acknowledge God this morning. There is nothing cannot do. I have told you the only one that can survive this time is only the one that is in the heart. And that heart is Jesus. If you are not in Jesus, you cannot survive it. You cannot survive it. You cannot. I say it again. You cannot survive it. Except you are in the heart. The only people that survive are the only people inside the heart. I want to say our family this morning. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for loving me. I ask you, Lord, this morning, forgive me all my sin. I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. I will follow you. I will serve you. Every covenant with the devil, I break it this morning. I make a new covenant to follow you. I decide to follow you and receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Write my name in the book of life. Fill me with your spirit. Direct my faith from today. You are my Lord. I am your son. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you this morning as many of you that have made that confession that you have come to Jesus for salvation. May the Lord forgive you your sin. Amen. Wash you with his blood. Amen. Write your name in the book of life. May you make heaven Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And because you have made your mind to follow Jesus, this is your pandemic, you will survive. Amen. Your family will survive. Amen. Everything around you will survive. Amen. And whatever you are lost, there shall be recovery Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful God. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I want to pray for your offering. Hallelujah. You know there is no envelope for offering anywhere, but you can you can send your money to the account at the at the common side. And as you do that to honor God with your tithe and offering in a time like this, God himself will honor you Amen. and preserve you on your household in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is not the time for you to keep away your offering from God. This is a time you must connect with God and God himself will continue to bless you Amen. in the name of Jesus. I've told you that man has a, the problem that he has. Other people around him had it. But Jesus singled him out. I pray for you this morning will sing you out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. When people are saying that everything is done, they will say there is a lifting up. Amen. You have a different testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to encourage you, please don't miss next Sunday. It's going to be very powerful. Hallelujah. Today, just an introduction. We go to the part two. Or that total recovery, as you begin to look at the instrument of divine recovery, as you begin to look at divine intervention, praise God, hallelujah. hallelujah. And I want you to begin, let your spirit listen to you, and God will give you testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to just begin to say, if there's anyone by your side, you will tell the person that this month you will not be wasted. Yes. And if you are the only one listening to me, I want you to begin to say, I will not be wasted. Open your mouth and pray to God this morning and say, I will not be wasted. You will not be wasted. Open your mouth and begin to pray this morning and begin to tell somebody by your side, either your husband, your wife, your children, your neighbor, everyone, if you are the only one, begin to say this month, I will not be wasted. I will not be wasted. You will not be wasted. You will not be wasted. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to say this man, I will not receive bad news. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, Lord, I will not become bad news. I will not receive bad news. I will not become bad news. In the name of you, no one will sorrow over me. I will not sorrow over my household. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray to God. Say, Lord, this month I lay miracles for me. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, this month I lay miracles for me. Open your mouth to God this morning and say, Lord, I lay miracles. 
for me and my household this month. In Jesus' precious name we pray. I want you to begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover your household with the blood of Jesus. Lord, we are secure by the blood. I soak myself in the blood. I soak my wife and children in the blood. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. All of you listen to me. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. The precious 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 blood of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. Thank Give thanks to God for what He has done today. Just celebrating, just honoring Him. I'm done giving glory. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I pray for everyone listening to me, Lord, that you will get involved in their fear. Lord, you will take their position. Amen. You will fight their battle. Amen. You will surround them with peace. Amen. I pray to you, Lord, that you give your people rest. Amen. You cause them to gain back all that they have lost. Amen. You will bring restoration to their life. There will be a total recovery. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I deploy the instrument of divine intervention Amen. into your life, into your house, into your business, Amen. into your career, Amen. into your marriage. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that this man shall be your man of total recovery. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. May the Lord preside you this week. Amen. May He cause His faith to shine upon Amen. you. May He go with you. Amen. May He bless you. Amen. May He favor you. Amen. May God surround you with faith. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Cause you to start. Amen. Establish your faith. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love you so much. Sorry for spending extra five minutes, but I don't feel we need to pray. Hallelujah. And I believe God has answered your prayer. I love you so much. Greeting for my wife, Pastor Philo. Greeting to Pastor from Pastor Demala, uh, Pastor Numide, and all the mighty men and mighty women. Our engineer brother and man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you so much. See you on Thursday, 6 p.m.